Good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau with your fast cast digital headlines for this Wednesday. Taking a look at our top stories, beginning with the latest race in the seat for U.S. House. Nick Begich is currently leading with 50% to incumbent Representative Mary Peltola's 45%. About 76% of precincts are reporting. The Alaska Independence Party's John Wayne Howe and New York prisoner Eric Hafner, who's running as a Democrat in third and fourth place. We caught up with Begich and Peltola at their watch parties last night. It's all about the team. It's not about one person, right? It really isn't. It takes a group to, to, to move an agenda forward. It's going to take a lot of effort in the House to move Alaska's agenda forward. That's what I've been about from the very beginning, and I'm looking forward to bringing that to D.C. We're not going to know numbers until like three days before Thanksgiving, uh, honestly. Boo, boo to that, but um, lots of time to celebrate and remember we're all in this together, we're all Americans, we're all pulling for the same things, we all love the same things, and I just am so proud of this campaign. The positivity, the love, the inclusiveness, thank you everybody. Now, Alaska has about 611,000 registered voters. More than 60,000 of them chose to vote early, leading to lines that in some cases stretched around the block. In Anchorage, some polling places saw lines Tuesday morning and some after work, but for the most part, people that we spoke with got in and out pretty quickly. The Division of Elections, though, still tallying results, but with more than 70% of the precincts counted, that is nearly 250,000 people that cast their votes. Now, all those votes not counted, of course, probably won't be for a few weeks. November 15th is the deadline to receive absentee ballots mailed inside the United States. November 20th is the deadline to receive absentee ballots mailed from outside the country. Ranked choice tabulation also begins on the 20th for any race where a candidate didn't receive 50% plus one vote. And then November 30th is the target date to have the election certified by the State Review Board. And as always, you can find everything that you need to know at alaskasnewsource.com. And those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Wednesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.